Yo, what is cracking? Because it is your boy Cypher Black here, bringing you guys the team builder for season three, week one against Poi, aka otherwise known as Dylan, and the Miami Heat Moors versus the Detroit Live Parts. Yours truly. If you guys have not been following the Detroit Live Parts, then make sure you guys go into the description. That's where you'll find the playlist for our draft analysis and who we drafted this season. Uh, but if you guys do not know, uh, Poi lives in Michigan as well as I do, so we're going to be having a little in-state rivalry even though his team is the Miami Heat Moors. Make sure you guys go check out Poi. All of his descriptions are in the, uh, I almost said all the descriptions are in the links. All the links are in the descriptions below. Make sure you guys go check him out as well as my, you know, my, my Twitter and stuff and my Instagram and Twitch and all that. That's always in the description. Go check that out. But today, I am bringing you guys on who I am bringing against Poi and why I'm going to be bringing those mods. So... I did have a lot of help with this team, and I prepped for this team actually a lot, you know. I'm actually recording this a day before I have to play Poi just because I actually wanted to get this done. But today, 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 um, if you guys, as you guys can see here, we have uh, Don't Mind Dingus. Dan did that. None of these mods are being named Dingus for some stupid reason. We were in a call, and Dan's like, oh, you should name all your mods Dingus. No, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna name all my mods Dingus. But I'm actually here to let you guys know, you know, what Pokemon to bring in against and you know which ones will actually be helping me out so today uh we have our draft here we have volcanion glyscor alakazam mega venusaur kiram black mylotic tentacruel bisharp gramble and pangoro uh there's a couple things that poised team is weak to um but there is a lot of things that he could take advantage of uh like swift swim swampert which we'll get into in a second here but yeah this is gonna be my draft here um very solid i, I did notice there's a couple things that i do lack like turn you know volt turns um definitely i don't have too many stealth box or defogs you know rapid spinners kind of so i had to be on the verge for that but let's go ahead and take a look at poise team as he is bringing scissor sylveon arcanine mega swampert thunder's t reuniclus armaldo superior doug trio miltank and quagsire now quagsire he did drop quagsire for in fact um polito which is actually a good pickup because that'll help his rain team out with mega swampert um a lot of key threats. He definitely has Mega Swampert to be a huge key threat. Ark and I could be a huge key threat, especially in what I'm doing against his team. It could definitely backfire on me a little bit. Um, but he does have a lot of threats. But let's go ahead and into who I think Poi will be bringing. So today, I think Poi will honestly be bringing... Uh, I think, honestly, Poi will be bringing... Scizor, Arcanine, Mega Swampert, Thunder's T... Reuniclus and Miltank. I think those are the Pokemon that he's actually going to be bringing. Um, just because I don't really see him bringing Sylveon, especially because I have Mega Venusaur. And Mega Venusaur basically walls Sylveon all day. So I don't really see him bringing Sylveon. Uh, granted, I do have a couple of Mons that Sylveon can take out, like Bisharp and Pangoro. Um, but on the other side of that, I, I have Mega Venusaur. Mega Venusaur can wall that thing every day of the week unless it doesn't Psy Shock. But yeah, uh, I do see him bringing, again, like I said, I see him bringing Miltank because he did snipe me in the draft. I see him bringing uh reuniclus thunder's t mega swamper arcanine and scissor uh just because again those mons kind of counter each other you know it's like scissor can kind of wall maybe wall mega venusaur hopefully if my set goes as planned um if he brings flash fire arcanine we could be in a little bit of a situation but that's actually fine because uh we do have some coverage for if he does bring intimidate so that's actually kind of plus you know on the plus side for us uh mega swamper we definitely have to watch out for the rain and even if he does if he brings armaldo then we're gonna have to kind of watch out for that because of the you know the pu swift swim life orb swords dance says insanely good and that could wreck our team a little bit uh we have to watch out for superior we do not want to get that thing up to two leaf storm contraries uh that thing is going to definitely be pretty crazy we have to watch out for doug trino uh, arena trap see when i team build i kind of team build for the whole team i don't really just team build for a specific set of mods of who i think i mean granted i just told you who i think he could bring but the thing is, is you never know so that's why i like to kind of prep for everything instead of just like the six mods i think he's gonna bring but um Quagsire, uh, I do have a couple, I have one mod that can set up, you know what I'm saying, so I have to watch out for the unaware if Quagsire does come, but then again, uh, you know, I kind of had some sources tell me that Poi will not be bringing Mega Swampert and Quagsire at the same exact time, which is smart because obviously, you know, you don't want that, that those two mods being weak to grass and all of a sudden, uh, you know, having the game come down to you being weak to grass you know it's just not worth it but yeah we have to watch out for honor or quagsire uh mill tank will sap sipper that kind of walls 
Mega Venusaur a little bit. So I kind of have to watch out for that. And that's kind of why I think he will be bringing Miltank just because of that Sap Zipper. Uh, Reuniclus easily can check Mega Venusaur, but I do have a Mon that can check Reuniclus. Uh, with Thunder's T, I do have a Mon that has a you know has an item that could specifically help us out just in case because I am really scared that he is going to be bringing Choice Scarf, Thunder's T. Uh, I know it's kind of it's not really a thing, but the thing is, is Poise Team really lacks speed. And if he can get the fastest Mon in his team with a Choice Scarf, that means he's going to be the fastest actually on the roster and maybe even in the draft this year um mega swamper we do have things for her. we have volcanion uh with hidden power grass before i'm actually going to show you uh we can easily cover him with that uh arcanine like i just said you know we have mylotic because mylotic is going to cover for that uh actually i stop telling you my mons and actually go into my mons but then again we have sylveon coverage you know mega venusaur uh scissor we have we have a little fun set for that so let's go ahead and get into the team builder so first we do in fact have our nice and powerful uh actually let's go ahead and tell the top you know so we have booker steam volcanion magic j our uh alakazam we have batty coda the glide score we have spose the mega venusaur we have queenie the mylotic and the last one obviously, we have duke nukem v2 aka by sharp so let's go ahead and go over volcanion so volcanion obviously we are running life orb with water absorb uh focus blast steam eruption hidden power grass and for fire blast focus blast specifically for the um the mill tank um steam eruption obviously for everything and stab uh hidden power grass again like i said specifically for uh either quagsire or doug trio or maybe even you know maybe even uh mega swamper as well um so that's kind of why we're running him and the thing is i ran enough evs on him to outspeed mega swamper even if he's if he's defensive you know so if he's not defensive we're gonna kind of have to worry or if he's yeah if he's not defensive we're gonna have to kind of worry and play around it uh but if he is defensive that thing is you know we're easily gonna outspeed with our 52 evs uh, investment in speed but as well and last but not least we have full or fire blast just for a little special set on mega venusaur uh but yeah that's gonna be the set for volcanion obviously we just have a lot of coverage and again like i said the stab steam eruption you you know we're just gonna fish for those burns so uh last uh second <laughs> almost said last but not least uh second we do have magic j here uh alakazam with the choice scarf uh with magic guard ability shadow ball psychic energy ball and hidden power fire obviously shadow ball being for reuniclus or just just one of those moves to hit hard on mons uh again like shadow ball can easily hit reuniclus it can I, I think it's just there for more stab and i think it did a lot in the thunder's t as well uh but like i said we are choice scarfing uh alakazam just for the you know the actual fact that even if we choice scarfed and we are jolly we're going to outspeed a max special attack or i'm sorry a max speed uh choice scarfed thunder's t so that's kind of why i am actually choice scarfed with uh magic johnson here um Psychic obviously stab and it does hit a lot of mods. It hits actually a lot of mods. I think the only one that's actually taking that is Scizor and Sylveon. Um, or at least it's gonna, you know, it'll put him in two hit hero or two hit kill range. I can't say that out loud. Uh, but next we have Energy Ball, obviously going to be for the the exact reason uh, Booker Steam has it is because of uh, Quagsire. Diglett or Diglett, Doug Trio and Mega Swamper, obviously. Uh, those are the main reasons because we're going to have to hit hard. Now, if he's going to predict an energy ball with Mill Tank, we can easily cover that. Uh, we can just obviously switch out, or if we want to, we can actually go for a psychic. Uh, actually, we'll probably switch out because we are choice scarfed. Uh, then, last but not least, we do have Hidden Power Fire for Scizor because Scizor is going to be definitely a big check for Alakazam here. Um, but like I said, 252 special attack, 4 in special defense, and 252 in speed, obviously, with a uh, haste nature a timid nature i'm sorry uh yep and that's basically gonna be magic johnson so next we do have our glide score i was gonna run a sword dance set because at plus two uh glide score did a lot of damage to poise team but unfortunately i kind of told myself i was like yeah stealth rock's gonna be nice especially if he's gonna try to switch intimidate with his arcanine but at least you know at least as he doesn't know is that i am actually the hyper cutter instead of in, uh the poison heal uh but again we're running the yachi berry for that thunder's tea like i said earlier uh yachi berry to hit you know take up that ice move and then obviously deliver a huge knockoff to that thing just in case if he's choice scarf because even if he is choice scarfed the good thing is we can easily uh knock it off and then that way um a lot of mines while speed especially especially alakazam that would be can for sure kill with the psychic uh but again uh we have 244 in attack eight in defense uh 200 in special defense 56 in speed and then a uh i believe a careful nature uh yeah careful nature obviously we knock off defog earthquake stealth rock stealth rock defog you already know what those are gonna do hazard and hazard control earthquake obviously for stab and it's gonna hurt a lot of mods especially arcanine with not having the hyper cutter ability it's easily gonna hit him um and then we have knock off just because again that's what we're gonna 
that's the main priority for Thunder's T is to knock off the Choice Scarf or whatever item is going to run, you know. So that's basically Bad Dakota, the Gliscor. Next we have Spose, aka Mega Venusaur. And here's the set where I'm getting a little funky. So we have the Chlorophyll ability. Obviously, it turns the Thick Fat. Venusaur, right? Mega Venusaur first turn, you know. But here's the moves that we have we have Giga Drain, Weather Ball, Sunny Day, Sludge Bomb. Oh, okay. Let's see. Uh, I actually calced it in Sludge, or I'm sorry, uh, Sunny Day Weather Ball to a Reuniclus actually does 56 to 62, I believe. Maybe I may be a little wrong on those calcs, but either way, I know it for sure does half, which is fine because either way, we can outspeed even if he wants to start, you know, set up a trick room. That's fine. And the thing is, I already calced Psychic's not taking me out, not even one, not even Psy Shock actually. So that's a good thing. So either way, we're going to two hit K or hit two hit KO with that thing. And, uh, I'm really having Poi really think, like, okay, my scissor is going to be his Mega Venusaur check. Nope. Wrong. Even if we want to run him Power Fire, uh, Dench actually gave me this this uh, Sunny Day Weather Ball set, you know, and I was like, man, that's actually, you know, I was, I, was, I was on the, you know, on the fence about it, and all of a sudden I was like, you know what? That actually makes sense. I'm actually going to run this. So hopefully, we get to use this against Poi. I don't know. I'm really excited. But that's going to be my Mega Venusaur set. I don't want to go too much into depth about it just because I do want to use this. And I never even used 4 HP. Maybe Dench is, maybe that's what he was talking about when he ginned it. Anyways, uh, we have 252 in HP. I really should have put that in an odd number. I don't know why. Uh, and then 252 in, spe or 252 in special attack. And obviously, with a modest nature. Um, yeah, I must have really messed up those stats. I was really tired when I, I, I built this team for like the past five days and actually got it finalized now. So uh, next we have Queenie, who is going to be our Arcanine check. Because like I said, that's what I was talking about earlier was if I set up the sun, Arcanine can just come in and just start flare blitzing away. You know what I'm saying? Especially with Morning Sun to, you know, heal off that recoil. Uh, it's definitely going to be a little rough to see if he actually does have Morning Sun. But, you know, just take the chance. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to put him in the sun even if he's defensive because that's still going to hurt like a fucking bitch. Uh, again, like I said, we have Queenie here, Rocky Helmet, just in case if he is. Uh, Flare Blitz, Wild Charge set. You know, either he's going to take Recoil, and then he's going to take Rocky Helmet damage. Uh, competitive, if he is, Intimidate. That way, obviously, we can get our special attack up, and we just start sp Scald spamming all day. But uh, with Queenie here, we are running Toxic, Scald, Recover, and Dragon Tail. Obviously, Dragon Tail, in case something starts setting up, and we can easily eat a hit. Um, or if, say, if something is just outrageous you know start and setting up hazards you know we can at least get him out of there uh obviously recover for health scald scald burn stab obviously and then toxic is so we can toxic stall because and i really hate saying those words but if it comes down to it i am going to toxic stall to win uh yeah again like i said this thing's just basically an arcanine check as well as gly score uh spose is basically a scissor and uh mega swamper check just in, and the thing is or another reason why i'm running sunny day is just in case if he does want to bring swift swim uh rain dance mega swamper because that thing does do a big damage to my team but the thing is if i can reverse those weather effects against poi i'm gonna do it and it obviously helps me set up so uh but last but not least we do have duke nukem v2 aka by sharp uh holding the focus sash with the define ability again for arcanine just in case if he does have the intimidate so we have three intimidate checks basically which is pretty nice but uh he's running swords dance sucker punch knockoff and iron head obviously uh 252 attack four in defense and then 252 in speed obviously with a uh, adamant nature i believe yep and uh again like i said this thing's definitely going to be a sylveon check but like I said about Glyscore with the Swords Dance setup, this is the mod I was talking about with the Swords Dance setup because the Swords Dance setup basically almost two hit KOs everything. It, it now unless he's holding a berry uh, like a cold, I can't say a culvert berry or uh, and it's a berry that reduces dark hits. Uh, say if he's holding that on Reuniclus, just if he is because I did practice Dan, uh, practice battle Dan and he ran the same thing. I don't I don't know if Poi would do it or not, um, but it's kind of cool because you know seeing. You know, just seeing that he can actually possibly live that actually makes me, uh, like, worth it, you know. Uh, but, again, like I said, he also could be running Quagsire with Unaware. I don't know. Like, uh, Poi this season, he's he's definitely changed up the game from last season. So, you know, it's definitely you want to sit there and prepare for him. And, you know, it's just, again, like, I don't want to lose the Michigan in-state rivalry. So, that's going to be the team I am bringing against Poi. If you guys are hyped for tomorrow's match, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up down below. This will possibly be going up a little late. I don't know. Uh, just because I forgot to schedule the video. Um which i should probably do which i should make a note but if not uh it'll be up saturday for sure so with that being said guys uh i will see you guys on sunday with my match versus poi uh again make sure you guys go in the description below where you will find all of his links make sure you guys go check him out follow him subscribe to him all that uh he's my brother from michigan you know what i'm saying boom boom i don't know you know i don't, I don't I, I think are you right here i don't, I don't know where you at poi but again make sure you guys go in the description as well and find my links which is my twitch instagram and twitter links all those again are in the description give me a follow subscribe whatever you want to do uh, make sure you guys 
do support your Detroit Lab Parts by dropping in the comment section below of Go Detroit or hashtag, uh, I don't know something just make up something I don't know just something that was support and now uh, with that being said that we will have two league matches We will have a NPL and NPL matches going up on the same day I, do, I might have the my NPL one a little late uh, just because my opponent thought we were uploading next week when We're uploading this week, but with that being said, uh, it's been 15 minutes already So I'm gonna try to get a body here. So please have yourselves a great morning night evening day wherever you're at and I will talk to you guys later Thank you for watching. What is cracking cuz see ya Bam.